Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video, we're gonna stay focused on the Bitcoin price. We are not gonna cover Ethereum today because in my opinion, right now the show is in Bitcoin and wherever Bitcoin is gonna go, also Ethereum and of course, most of the other altcoins will follow. So we're gonna stay focused today on Bitcoin and also we're gonna have a look into some very interesting charts that could tell us that we still have some fuel left to the upside side before maybe we are getting a local top and then start a major correction and maybe a little bear market for the next coming weeks or months until then we're gonna gear up again to reach our targets way above 100k so we have both some bullish signs we have some bearish signs everything is a bit mixed right now but i think there are some signs that maybe we could come very very soon to an end so to a little local top that maybe could take us then again down towards the new important supports that we created from these last couple of price actions that we had here in the last couple of months and then gear up again towards 100k and higher so first off here the lower time frames in the four hour you can see that we are still below the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame we didn't manage yesterday to start to close candles again above the four hour time frame so that of course is a bearish sign for now at least for the lower time frames we are still getting rejected and therefore we still could expect to reach it at 200 moving average at 42 thousand dollar if here we're gonna see a breakout to the downside from this symmetrical triangle that we could form here so it is not yet confirmed but maybe we could create this symmetrical triangle before we're gonna break out here to the downside and potentially reach our target here of the 200 moving average in the four hour time frame this is also coinciding with the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement based from the last low that we had and the local top here of $58,600 so that's why this area down here between 40 to 42 thousand dollar has a lot of significance and I think that most likely this area is gonna get tested and uh, even though we could fall towards these levels down here i'm still keeping up my trade from yesterday so here this is the trade that we opened up in yesterday's video and i'm gonna add more into my position if we're gonna drop down towards this forty two thousand dollar area because this is also coinciding with the 50 daily moving average here in the daily time frame so i think if we're gonna drop below this 50 daily moving average then i'm gonna close my long and i will not add more into my position if we're gonna start to close daily candles below the 50 daily moving average otherwise if we're gonna get a bounce here i'm gonna add more into my position because the daily time frame is still looking very bullish currently we're still closing candles above the 20 daily moving average so that is still very bullish but what we want to see right now is that we're gonna have a big bounce from it and also test and break here the nine daily moving average so far we didn't come up here to test this moving average here at fifty three thousand dollar that's why i still think that a move here to retest this area is still likely before maybe then we're gonna continue to crash lower but as long as we are squeezing here between the 20 and 9 daily moving average we most likely gonna stay moving sideways here before then of course we are getting a big move to the upside or to the downside and since the daily time frame is still looking bullish i'm pretty confident that we could gear up here for another move to the upside and if we're gonna have a daily close below the 20 daily moving average then it is pretty sure that we're gonna test here this 42 thousand dollar area right at the 50 daily moving average and if we open up here my own indicator you can see that right now the rsi is bouncing from the 50 level in the rsi so that is still a good sign and also the momentum is turning around here so it looks like that maybe here we could get very soon a buy signal but so far nothing is confirmed or flashing so we could still fall down towards 42,000 before we gear up again towards 60k and go higher so the daily time frame for now is still looking good most likely we're gonna squeeze here between the 20 and 9 daily moving average before then we're gonna see a clear move to the downside or to the upside 
and uh, it's only the problem here in the lower time frames that we're still not able to close four hour candles above the 20 moving average as soon as we can do that then i think we're gonna see again these move towards 60k and potentially go even higher money flow is still positive in the daily and also in the for our time frame so that's why we should see sooner or later here an attempt to break this area and start again to fight the sixty thousand dollar area and now we can head over into the weekly time frame because i want to remind you that this week we are not only gonna close this weekly candle but also we're gonna close a monthly candle so that's why also we're gonna have a look quickly into the monthly time frame later but first we're gonna have another look here into the weekly time frame because here you can see the nine weekly moving average also right at this 42,000 dollar area so it is very likely that we're gonna see this move down towards 42,000. if it's guaranteed i'm not very sure but based here on the indicators it looks like that we could see this retest of the nine weekly moving average we are having right now a sell signal flashing and that always indicates that we could see such a move down towards this moving average in the worst case even down here towards the 20 weekly moving average right at 28,900. dollars so those two targets are for me the worst case scenario if we're going to continue to crash lower here we also have the rsi right now cooling off here a bit and it looks like that we maybe could form even here a bearish divergence we have lower highs in the rsi and higher highs in the price it's not yet confirmed but it is possible that we're going to create this bearish divergence but such bearish divergences in the weekly time frame takes a long time till they gonna play out if they gonna play out so i wouldn't just trade based on this possible bearish divergence that we are having here in the weekly time frame so those two important moving averages in my opinion are the worst case scenario if here we're gonna have a drop towards these two moving averages and of course those are also good buy opportunities for the long term because usually bitcoin during an uptrend always bounces at those two important price levels and that's why if you're buying in right here at 42,000 and maybe also here at 30,000 you should be doing fine for the long term and now we go over into the monthly time frame because here i want to show you that bitcoin in the past in 2017 before the blow off top here always came down to the nine monthly moving average so here you can see the nine monthly moving average which is always holding as a very strong support during an uptrend similar like the nine and 20 weekly moving average in the weekly time frame but here in the monthly you can see that usually always when we had a red month we always retrace back down to the nine monthly moving average and then had a successful bounce from it until we reached here the blow off top in 2017 and the same thing could happen also here you can see that right now we are still far away from the nine monthly moving average right here at twenty one thousand dollar so this would mean that the price could even drop below the 20 weekly moving average if we would reach here this twenty one thousand dollar but since we are about to close this bullish month at around fifty thousand dollar i think this moving average will jump here towards this twenty four to thirty thousand dollars so even if we would see this play out then also here we most likely could fall only down towards 25 to 30 thousand not lower so next month as soon as we're gonna close february we're gonna have to update this important moving average because during an uptrend this was always a very significant support level to be hold in order to see continuation to the upside and also to see where most likely we're gonna bottom out before then gear up for another big move to the upside so we have to update this moving average next month my friends right now it's here at twenty one thousand dollar it is almost impossible that before we're gonna close this month that we're gonna drop down towards this level but we're gonna have to see where this moving average is lining up for the month of march so if we're gonna see maybe next month the price crashing down that here we should have enough support even in the monthly time frame and otherwise everything is still looking good here money flow is still very positive in the monthly time frame of course also here we are looking quite exhausted but it doesn't look like that we are close to an end here so we still have some fuel left here in the monthly time frame so you see that even though we have some room left here to the upside there are some warning signs that sooner or later we could get somewhere here a local top and then start a huge correction 
down again towards 40, 30 or even $20,000 before then we gear up for another big move towards new highs here way above 100k. So I think that scenario similar like we had also in 2013 and 2014 is possible but so far we don't have such a confirmation or such signals that right now we should sell because we are dropping down. There are some warning signs but nothing is confirmed right now so we still can go way way higher here before these sell signals are playing out because remember last time we had here this uh, CTP cycle uh, local top indicator that we analyzed and usually whenever this moving average up here is crashing down to the price this always signaled a local cycle top before the price started a huge correction and you can see that this moving average right now is coming down but we are not seeing like a big crash into the price action that we are seeing right now so that means that we still have some fuel left to the upside before this sell signal could play out because in the past it always acted as a very good indicator to where we potentially could top out here in 2017 you can also see that this moving average came down here into the price action and this was the cycle top here and then we started another bear market so we could see something similar upcoming also here but nothing is confirmed or flashing right now so this could be just the beginning and the price could reach even 100k before this moving average is reaching the price so this is a bit concerning here but of course nothing is confirmed yet and we don't have that sell signal right now and another important indicator is this one over here shout out to Maboni this is the logarithm make growth curves and zone chart this always indicates where it's good to buy bitcoin and where it's good to sell bitcoin so usually here when we are in the green stage it's always good to buy bitcoin and when we are in this red stage same like in 2017 it is always good to take profits and sell so if we go now to the price action that we're seeing right now you can see that currently we're still far away from this red zone and this red zone is starting here at 75,000 up to $100,000 so I think if we're gonna have here a last move here towards this red zone and the sell signal that we covered previously this P cycle sell signal is coming down into the price action then maybe yes then maybe here between 75 to $100,000 is a good time to take some profits not everything but at least start to take some profits in case that we then gonna have a huge crash down again towards for example here the 200 daily moving average at around uh, 22,000 or maybe even only come back down here to this yellow zone between 31,000 and 49,000 dollar and you can also see here clearly that we are bouncing right now from this yellow zone support and this is also both here the 20 daily moving average so that's why I'm telling you my friends if we are having a close below this $48,000 we're gonna start to trade again into this yellow zone here so between $30,000 and $48,000 and you can see that the 50 daily moving average is right here in the middle area so it is very likely that if we're entering again this zone here that then we're gonna consolidate somewhere here and then break out to the upside again because at that time here this red zone will also be way higher because it's growing up here exponentially so maybe during April and May this red zone here will be then at around 120 or 140 thousand dollar just at the time of recording right now if we are seeing a pump here towards 75 to 100k in the next coming days or weeks this could be a potential local top at least for now before we start a correction and then gear up again to move towards 100k and go even way higher so you see that right now we are having a very very critical point here with these next big moves that Bitcoin could do because if we are able to push higher here towards 75 to 100k this could be a potential local top but at the same time if we're going to drop here and start to consolidate somewhere around 30 to 40k and then later on have the big breakout to the upside that we could move even way higher than what we're seeing right now so towards 120 to 140k and then maybe have a local top.
So everything is gonna be depending where we're gonna break out here next and where we are going to go in the next coming days and weeks. These coming breakouts, my friends, are going to be very, very significant. And that's why I'm also not closing my long for now because I still think that we could see this possible last big push towards 75 to 100K before then maybe we're gonna have a bigger correction and then gear up again towards 100K and way higher prices. So then we can accumulate more Bitcoin below 30k but this is just my theory this is just my idea what could happen next if we are able right now to start again closing four hour candles above fifty thousand dollar and then go towards 60k and seventy five thousand so let's wait and see what will happen my friends I think we still have some few left to the upside before maybe we start a bigger correction and then accumulate again more Bitcoin but we cannot predict the future until here we're gonna have confirmations breakouts and so on we still need more time we are still trading sideways and you know how it is Bitcoin always starts to get boring before it's gonna have a big big move and that's why we are very very focused now on Bitcoin I think all the other altcoins will follow wherever Bitcoin is gonna go next and that's why I make sure to be focused on Bitcoin right now and if you're trading with my own indicator over on uh, discord then keep in mind that right now here in the three hour time frame we are in a downtrend we are trading below the EMA ribbons so only if we're starting to close three hour candles above the EMA ribbon then I think we are good to go long again even if you go with high leverage but as long as we are closing three hour candles below the EMA ribbons I think it is still too risky to open up longs right now even though I am already in a position but I'm pretty confident that very very soon we're gonna have another big move to the upside everything is still looking good here I'm just waiting here for the buy signal in the daily time frame to have this confirmation that most likely we're gonna head again towards 60k and 75,000 before maybe we're starting a bigger correction so shout out to everyone that is trading with my own indicator here on Discord. And if you also want to join our free Discord trading chat, we have a very great community over there. Then make sure to use the official link for Discord down below here in the video description. Once you clicked here in the invitation link, you have to go here to read first and confirm that you're a human by clicking here this thumbs up button. And then you have free access to our crypto trading chat. And if you want to get access to this uh, live stream indicator, or if you want the full indicator for your trading view, then you have to send me a private message. You have to contact me here on Discord. And for a little donation, you can get access to this indicator as well. And of course, also check out all the other referral links down below in the video description, especially the one for Bybit and Femix. Those are the recommended exchanges that I'm also using, especially if you want to trade with leverage Bitcoin and Ethereum. Use my sign up links to support the channel and also get some more bonus. And if you're completely new in the crypto space, make sure to open up an account on Swissport, Binance and Coinbase with the links down below here, because with my links, you will get some extra rewards for your first purchase and on coinbase currently you can also get for free those altcoins that you see down below here this is only valid for coinbase users and if you're interested in getting a free credit card or debit card that you can use your cryptos to buy stuff then check out crypto.com and also blockfi because those two are offering a free card that you can then use to spend your cryptos of course if you want to spend your cryptos i would hodl but if you're interested in such a thing then you can check out crypto.com and blockfi so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now thank you again very much for watching leave a like if you like this content and make sure to subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye